Hello everyone, it's the first Sunday of May and of course time for a new prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium and the prompt for this month is nature which I think can be interpreted in so many different ways um, and will appeal to you whatever season you are in, wherever you live. Now I've decided that I'm going to make a nature themed um, journal this month and I've dug out a cardboard box. I've got this one here which was um, in packaging. Um, you've seen me use a couple of these before in previous projects it's the same cardboard box that um, I used um, for my usual scraps journal although this one here is considerably smaller um, so that's what I'm going to be using but I do want to share with you a couple of different options now I've also dug out here um, an Amazon box from um, Amazon packaging and you know that would um, be perfect for using for a journal any kind of cardboard um, would work I particularly like this and if you don't have anything like that then a simple piece of cardboard cardstock will suffice as well so I've just trimmed some pieces of cardstock similar to the ones that you saw me use um, in the journals that I made for the boho prompt um, and I've done these with different um, thicknesses of spine so you know do whatever suits you and use whatever materials you happen to have now, if you um, decide to use something from Amazon packaging, the way that I would do it personally is to peel um, all of these bits off and um, just trim away the excess. Um, unless you want to do a folio, I'd also get rid of um, these as well. Um, trim the side um, and then you would have quite um, a nice box to play with. Of course, peel this bit off the front as well. So lots of different um, options. Now, I've just taken all of the flaps off my Amazon box just so that you can see um, what it looks looks like if you decide to use something like this you know perfectly um, usable now so that's that um, but I'm going to stick with this one here and I might use the Amazon box for something else now I am going to be using some of my eco prints that I did um, a couple of years ago to decorate um, my journal um, I've scanned these um, into my computer and I'm going to add some of these to the group so if anybody would like to use these for your own personal use then you know feel free to download these and print them off um these are the two that I'm going to use for the front and back so I've got a front one here um, and that one will go on the back now I photocopied these I'm not going to um, use the originals today um, so what have I done with them these are the photocopied um, images and I have cut these down so they're not um, identical um, and to be honest it doesn't matter because I'll probably end up um, covering some of this um, up anyway but you know these are just gorgeous nevertheless um, so I will glue this one down to the um, front and and this is the one that's going to go um, on the on the back. So I've trimmed some off the sides um, just so that I can get the best part um, onto my journal cover. So let me just decide what glue I'm going to use and I'll be right back. I'm going to start off by um, applying glue stick to the cover first and then I will um, apply Fabri-Tac in my usual way. Um, but this, this just allows me to manoeuvre the papers around a bit more easily and just covers me for any areas that I might happen to miss. I don't know, it just um, seems to glue the um, edges down much better um, if I use a bit of glue stick as well. And then I'm going to add some um, Fabri-Tac as well. So just around the edges, just to make sure that, um, you know, it's going to be permanent and not going to lift at a, at a later date. And we'll apply some in the middle as well. I find that Fabri-Tac and three in one um, also helps to um, stiffen whatever you're using as well and just makes it um, a whole lot more durable. Now, before I glue it down, I'm just going to use my finger just to run that straight to the edge as well, like, like that wipe my finger um, off and then I've just got to decide um, which part I want to use. I'm not going straight to the edge um, again in the same way um, that I didn't with the journals that um, I made the other week when we were doing the boho prompt just because um, I don't want my folds cracking so that's what we've got here. I'm just going to use a tissue here just to smooth that down especially um, on the edges like this. Now this cardboard that I'm using here um, is corrugated underneath and has quite a few ridges. So I'm really going to pay um, attention 
um, in um, smoothing that down. And I'm just looking for my lollipop stick, which is um, really helpful. I can't find it, but I've got my bone folder for a change. And so I'm just going to make sure that I really smooth this down. And I think it's just going to be easier using a piece of kitchen towel. As I say, just really making sure that um, I'm getting right to the very, very edges here. So I'm just going to leave that for a while and I'm going to glue this piece of paper onto the other side here. These are just inkjet copies, by the way. Um, my printers um, isn't open because of um, COVID-19. So, you know, I've just printed these off on my home printer and I'm just going to glue this in exactly the same way. And so again, I'm just pressing this down nice and firmly um, using my kitchen towel, especially um, around the edges like this, just to make sure that those are glued well. Um, going over the ridges just to make sure that, um, that that's firmly attached. And I'm going to set that aside for about five minutes or so. So I went off and left this underneath um, a couple of um, heavy books, one for each side um, and longer than I intended. It's been sat here for about half an hour or so, maybe even more. And I'm just going to um, trim around the edges now with um, a pair of scissors. So that's what I've got so far and I really like that. And I'm just going to use a nail file now, an emery board, just to go around the edges just to um, smooth any rough bits off. I might distress this at a later date. I haven't decided yet but I just feel the urge to um, use my emery board so I'm just going to do that over my bin and what I shall do is just go around the edges like like this so this is how my cover is looking so far and I'm really happy with that. The edges are all nice and um, neat and smooth. Um, I feel as if I want a contrast though on the inside and I've dug out some of this packaging here. Not being able to um, go out to the shops means that um, most people are ordering stuff online. Um, this was packaging that was um, just um, mingled ar um, around Louise cat food um, and I think this is going to be perfect. It's just recycled um, paper and I just think you know the tones are just absolutely perfect and so I'm just going to cut myself um, a piece of this so I've uh, torn a piece of that paper and I'm just going to tear it um, in half like this um, as well just so that I've got um, enough to fit both sides because of course I don't want anything down this centre um, anyway so I'll tear this in half in the same way like like this and then I just need to decide which side I'd like to um, have. I quite like the um, rough side. You've got a smooth side on this and um, a rough side. Um, but I'm just going to glue that down like that in exactly the same way as I did the cover. So that's one side done and I'm just burnishing it down with a piece of kitchen towel in exactly the same way. Um, I've got loads of crinkles on this paper. Um, I've decided to go with this side here, the front side, and that doesn't bother me in the slightest. I just think that um, adds interest and, um, and texture. So again, that's been weighted down under a couple of heavy books. And again, I'm just going to trim around the edges. So this is what I've got so far. So the inside is now glued down and finished. And you can see as well that I've um, rounded the edges. And I've done that by hand by just using um, my emery board because, of course, this cardboard um, is quite soft. Um, this is just too thick for me to be able to um, use my corner punch. So I've just done that um, by hand. I've also done the Amazon box um, as well. Well, so that's this one here. I've used different prints um, for this one. I've used um, this print here and this one, which I just photocopied in the same way. And again, I'll leave um, these for you in the Facebook group in case you'd like to um, download those. Of course, you can use anything um, you like, um, but I thought I might as well work on this one at the same time. So before I um, do anything else, I just want to um, grunge these up a bit um, and ink around the edges. I've got um, three different colors, Two different colours of ink actually. I've got um, frayed burlap and brushed corduroy. This one is running dry so I'm not sure whether this is going to give me the look um, that I'm after um, but you know I just want to get rid of um, the whiteness from around the edges so I'm just going to go all the way around um, and it will just help as well just to um, tone this down and just darken it um, around the edges and just give it a nice look. 
So let me just show you what a difference the um, inking makes. And I've just brought it into the um, centre of the page as well on this side, um, just to, you know, grunge that up. And that's the difference on this side here. So I'm going to do exactly the same to the right hand side. And as soon as I've done that, I'll be back. And personally, I think that makes such a big difference because it just frames um, your page. I really like how that looks. Um, now, before I do anything else, I want to add a little loop to the spine of my journal just in case I want to um, hang something um, off it, um, a charm or something. So I'm just going to glue this um, to the spine here. Now this came off this roll here and you can see that that's um, a little bit um, narrower and that's just because I've um, just trimmed a small amount off the side and then frayed the edge and I'm just going to glue this down. I'm going to um, start off by gluing it with um, some glue stick and then a bit of um, Fabri-Tac. It doesn't have to be perfect because you'll see I'm going to um, cover this up um, in a second anyway. So let me just add a bit of glue there. Like that. Just going to smooth that in with my, with my finger. Um, I don't want the loop poking out too much. So about there um, is, is fine. And then I'll glue that down on the other side um, as well. A bit of glue stick um, first and then the Fabri-Tac. This just works best for me. You don't have to do, you know, my method. And then how do I want that? I don't want the loop poking out too much. Um, so about there will be fine. Just enough to be able to put um, a ring or something um, through it. Maybe a bit higher. So, you know, you've got a bit of wiggle room. So, you know, just do that until you're happy with it. You can skip this stage. You don't have to do this if you don't if you don't want to. So that's what um, that's what that looks like. Um, and if I decide not to use it, then, you know, it's just um, another decorative piece anyway. Now I want to use some of this green military um, tape for my binding, um, my spine, um, just because the colour just goes absolutely perfectly. Now I've taken the time to make sure that that um, is as straight as I can get it, just because I've added my loop and I won't be able to um, trim it there. So I'm just going to pull um, enough out. I'm using my board so that I can um, make sure that um, I get the, the centre. So about about there, like that. And I'm just going to pop pop that down like like that. Whoops, a daisy. Not um, haven't got it um, stuck down enough. This is fiddly. So you can see that I've just lined that up with the middle, and then I'm just going to try and get it as even as I can, um, either either side. Let's have a look. About there, I think. I think that's about right. And as soon as you're happy with it, then you can stick that down. I'm going to do this off camera just to make sure that I've centralised that, but that's how you do it. Now, I don't know whether you can see, that's not absolutely perfect, but that's fine. I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to um, trim that with a pair of scissors. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other, on the other side. And um, this side will be easier because I've got this um, tape as a, as a guide. Now this is how my spine is looking so I'm really happy with that and that's how it looks on the inside. Now at some stage I do want to add something um, to the spine here um, just to pretty it up. I've got some more of this daisy trim that you've seen me um, use before um, so I could add that. Um, I've also got it in white that um, I could tea stain so you know I might be able to do something with that as well. I've got more of this um, lace than I have of the um, natural colour. I've only got this some tiny weeny bit here left. Um, I've also got this beautiful, beautiful lace that um, again is the right colour for my journal. So I could um, add that there. But until I know exactly um, what I'm going to do with the um, rest of the outside, whether I'm going to leave it like that or add further embellishment, I'm not going to make any rush decisions. So I'm just going to leave that be um, for the time being. 
and here is the Amazon box and that's how that's looking um, so far. Now for this one here for the edges I've used some natural linen this is um, frayed edge burlap ribbon um, and it's 70 millimeters wide um, which is three inches in old money um, and again I'm just going to leave this um, for the time being. I'm thinking of adding some contrasting stitching um, to the edges of the burlap ribbon but you know I just want to ponder on it and just you know have a really good think about about where I want to go next. So I'm going to leave the journals here for the time being. I'm really happy with the um, journal covers so far. I'll be back next week with some nature inspired ideas as to how we can fill these journals with some nature inspired pages. Um, but in the meantime, I will leave the photos as promised of um, my eco prints in the Facebook group for you to download and use if you want to. Um, of course, you don't have to do a journal if you don't want to. You can do anything nature inspired if you want to do a nature um, inspired watercolour then feel free to do so and of course don't forget that Kylie will be sharing her ideas based on this prompt as well so do go um, and see what she's been doing um, but in the meantime take care everyone stay safe and I'll see you all again soon bye for now